Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and to my quite unexpected video. Unexpected, I'm gonna tell you why in a minute, but in case this is your first video from me that you're watching, hey, I'm Morgan, I'm a digital artist, art student and graphic designer and this is my YouTube channel. <laughs> anyway, today I am going to be drawing my OCs. In case you don't know what OC is, it stands for original character, but in a style of Met Gala or what would they look like if they then did Met Gala. But back to this being unexpected it is unexpected because the idea for this video popped up in my head yesterday and i did all the drawing yesterday because i was like you know let's just try to do some sketches and stuff and i will see uh, how it will turn out it turned out quite nice i was like oh well you know maybe let's make a video because as i said also i think in the previous videos my new kind of posting youtube posting schedule is every two weeks so every 14 days there is a new video and today this is the day when i'm doing the voiceover for this video it's 14th day and i have no video prepared and the video that i was preparing i have the voiceover done but not the drawing which is quite odd since, since it's usually the opposite way you usually have the drawing done and then the voiceover but i don't work efficiently so not me <laughs> So we will see how this will turn out, hopefully, I will hope for the best. So without further ado, let's get started and let's dive into this video. So as I said, I'm going to be drawing my OCs in a Met Gala style, but if you don't know what Met Gala is, it's basically very, very fancy fashion event briefly said it's held every year and there is always like a theme so so the attenders who are usually celebrities have to pick an outfit based on the theme and when i was thinking this through yesterday when i got this video idea i settled on the idea that my Met gala oc theme is going to be exaggerated aesthetic which basically means i'm gonna draw my ocs in their natural aesthetic habitat so they will be kind of wearing something that's them their comfort clothes but in more of a Met Gala style. But to be fully honest, now when I'm kind of going through the designs, I think just like only one design is more on the formal side. So would be probably, you know, good for Met Gala. The others are just kind of yassified outfits. <laughs> but you know, this is different Met Gala. Anyway, the theme is exaggerated aesthetic. And our first victim for this outfit masterpiece is Andrew. And I drew Andrew... <laughs> And I drew Andrew in the past few times. I actually drew him during Inktober. And I also talked about him in OC fandom introduction like two years back, I think. So if you want to know more about him, definitely watch that video. But briefly about him, he was born in London somewhere around 1993, something like that. And he works for MI6 and has a pet parrot, Zoe, who is also pictured in the design with the fancy feather head thing that Andrew has. And also one of the biggest hobbies that Andrew has is actually music and making music and playing guitar. So I decided to put that into the outfit as well and make kind of a pattern on the shirt that he's wearing. But to be fully honest, in general, I don't really know how to explain Andrew's style. He's not his normal style that he or the clothes that he usually wears is not something like extraordinary I, I probably put some pictures that I found on Pinterest here to maybe more explain it without using words because I don't really maybe like hipster-ish kind of thing he usually wears baggy things he does not really wear something you know slim fit or anything like that so baggy things and he usually wears, wears colors he's not someone who would usually wear like all black outfit unless it's needed for his job or unless he's attending, I don't know, a funeral or something. And he's in general just kind of golden retrieval personality, so that's kind of even suiting for his uh, color palette for, in general, his uh, clothes. So he's wearing bright colors and has a bright personality. And Andrew is definitely someone who would wear makeup even even during his normal existing since, since he's pansexual and we kind of need that queerness to kind of shine through, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Anyway, that was Andrew and our next victim is Claudia, which is still kind of name in progress, but I've been calling her Claudia for quite a long time since I don't really have other ideas, so maybe you can suggest some. <laughs> but she was born somewhere maybe like 15th century, but the part of her life that I'm usually portraying her at is 
during a Victorian era, so 19th century. And she's basically a vampire Victorian fashion icon. But here I tried to, you know, do Met Gala look, so maybe Victorian, a little bit more modern kind of thing. So it's not really 100% Victorian. And she has also that kind of villain spark. I'm still kind of working on her character, but I don't feel she is like, you know, the hero. She's either anti-hero or maybe she's definitely not 100% good. There is, it's either 50-50 or just 100% just villain. But in general, she's just very fancy with everything. And if she doesn't get what she wants, then I think the best way to save yourself is to die before she finds you, I would say. <laughs> And to be fully honest, the one of my most favorite drawings that I ever did, it's like a year or two back, it's actually her and I did it well. The drawing was also a draw this in your style challenge that has no deadline. So if you want to participate, please do. The drawing is on my profile. I'm gonna also put it here. But in general, there is just a huge amount of villainous femininity shining out of her. So whenever I feel like I need to draw something like that, then I usually choose her to draw since she's the perfect example. <laughs> or in in general confident woman <laughs> Anyway, that's her, that's Claudia. And our next victim is someone I was not really sure if I want to put in, but I'm gonna do anyway. And it is Patrick. And Patrick is related to Andrew, who I did as the first design. And he's Andrew's friend and boss at the same time. And this whole design is kind of pointed around the Patrick's part of his personality, which is that he served in the army for like almost 10 years. And for his character, I also like usually put him in like kind of army style clothes so it's just part of him he's not gonna get rid of it just like that <laughs> there is no patrick without army in this case <laughs> and also i talked about him in the phantom introduction video as well and also in other videos but he has two cats so i also wanted to do something like i did with andrew and zoe and the feathers but here i gave patrick like some of kind of weird boa or something sweater looking thing it's not it's just kind of it's like a fluffy scarf in the color of the cats now i'm realizing that maybe it looks like it's made from the cats but it's not he loves his cats really dearly and he would not do anything to them to make scarf out of them <laughs> <laughs> just just to be just to be safe with this <laughs> the same thing with andrew and zoe andrew would not take zoe's feathers to make head out of it just for the sake of having feather head <laughs> anyway in general i just kind of as i said before starting this video i just kind of yesified most of the pants and maybe a little bit the boots but otherwise and also the scarf but otherwise he usually wears this kind of thing he usually wears like a white tank top so i just don't feel it's creative enough so I was very kind of hesitant to put it in here but you know here you are and to be full honest i love patrick so i was like well you know i should i i should <laughs> i should <laughs> Because I don't wanna I don't wanna waste my time that I spent on this drawing to you know not to use it here. So that's Patrick, <laughs> our favorite army and cat daddy. And now let's go and let's have a look on our last victim for this video. So our last victim is Hikaru, who I already drew like a few times, but I don't think I've ever mentioned her on this channel, I think. May or maybe I no, I don't think so. Anyway, she is my kind of cyberpunk-ish character. She's like from from the future not sure what kind of future but it's like cyberpunk kind of future not the game cyberpunk but just the kind of style and the thing is that some of her nerves or yeah i would say nerves are replaced with like wires and stuff so she is kind of like a pikachu of in a human form <laughs> And her color palette is basically black and yellow. And in this case, I also added some neon green, which I think is really cool since I used it with Patrick a little bit. And I was like, you know, I need to use it as again. And based on Claudia's design, I was like, hey, you know, I really like the transparent clothing. So I'm gonna do that again as well. So I did her like, I would say like plastic trousers. I don't know. Maybe it's like some sort of material that got created in a cyberpunk future. Who knows? <laughs> and to get more, you know, futuristic, I also gave her like floating sneakers. I don't know if uh, if you can really tell, but it's like she has like a sneaker, then there it's floating and under there is like one more part of the sneaker. I don't know if that makes sense, but you know, it's just I tried to make it float. <laughs> 
and since she's Japanese I try to put like more like Japanese influence into her outfit to make like kind of a kimono slash dress slash that kind of thing and I also gave her that kind of kimono belt that I saw on lot of well, probably every kimono picture that I've seen when I was doing a little bit of research for her outfit that's the neon green thing that she has under her chest and also very fancy lightning bolt necklace or you know the neck piece that I I gave her without any you know kind of explanations because i think it just looks cool <laughs> to be fully honest i think this is the design that i struggle with the most but i probably also enjoyed the most since for the past time maybe few months i've been kind of into neon green and yellow well neon green and non-neon yellow just yellow in general and neon green so i really enjoyed it because of the colors and it kind of makes me sad since the only neon green thing that i currently own is a beanie so i I need to you know i need to make my collection a little wider <laughs> anyway that is it that's all the outfits that i did maybe there are gonna be a part two maybe next year before met gala so i would not make things last minute <laughs> anyway i hope you enjoyed this video as much as i did making it because even though it was quite unplanned i actually had really really fun time drawing and also kind of exploring new style as you can see because this is not a style that i usually draw in and this style is like much quicker for me to you know just kind of draw things and it's not super detailed but i actually like it for it not being detailed if that makes sense so i hope you hope you like it as well <laughs> and maybe you can comment now i don't know what you should comment because i have not thought about this question <laughs> maybe what kind of video you would like to see from me next time don't worry for all of you who are waiting for next greek mythology redesign that was the video that was supposed to come for this one but i have not finished the drawing of the design but you know as i said the voiceover is done i'm working on it don't worry <laughs> but maybe what kind of videos you would like me to make in the future not next time but in the future in general except redesigns or maybe you like redesigns and you would like to see more redesigns that's okay i will do more redesigns then <laughs> anyway uh again repeating myself i hope you like this video don't forget to comment like and subscribe to not miss any upcoming video because as i said i am currently uploading on my schedule every two weeks slash every 14 days which i found out is for me very good since it's enough time for me to make a video and not be super stressed about it that i'm not having any video done like this time i need to work on that <laughs> anyway don't forget to subscribe and i will see you hopefully next time very very soon <laughs> bye